Hello everyone, and this is NHL to Houston Day. So, we're going to talk about uh, any news revolving around bringing an NHL team to Houston. So, we still uh, have Tillman, uh, the Rocket owner, who wants to bring an NHL to Houston. Uh, Houston. He's still actively trying to bring an NHL team to Houston. So, Toyota Center, again, was specifically designed to where... It could be a hockey uh, ring, or it could be a basketball court. It's designed so that you could bring an NHL team to Houston. That's what it's for. That's why it was built. And he's still trying. He has not given up yet, which is very, very good news. And then you got other teams around the league. We know about the Coyotes, about how they're struggling, and about how they, and a lot of sp- speculation about uh, them coming to Houston uh, we still have talking about expansions but I highly doubt they're going to do anything expansion wise uh, anytime soon because Seattle's already confirmed for the 32nd team and I don't know if they're ready talkies ready to even try to go beyond 32 teams even though yeah that, that's still a if mm, you we hear about the Carolina Panthers but one that I recently heard about that I don't know if y'all heard about it yet it is an Ottawa Senators. They're a Senators. That's a Canadian team. That's not even a team here in the South that's struggling. That's a Canadian team. Up uh, in Canada, struggling a lot with a terrible, horrible owner. The owner's so bad that they started a GoFundMe, apparently, to put a billboard up saying uh, to get that. You know, to get this owner out of here. Bye bye. They don't want him. The, 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 they really, really don't want him. So again, it's another another team struggling with attendance. Uh, with a this one has a really crappy owner, who apparently doesn't uh spend any money to try to keep good players around, like any good players. So, it's a, so there's another option. There's there's four teams that could possibly move to Houston. I don't think the Panthers are going to do it. I think the Coyotes are a good chance. Apparently, the Ottawa Senators seem to be a good chance. But I don't know if uh, Canada's going to move them out of Canada. Even, they may move them out of Ottawa, though. Because, uh, again, it's not just the attendance. Another reason why the attendance is so bad is because they live uh, in a very difficult place to get to in Ottawa and they he's been trying the owner's been trying to move it to downtown but the city won't let him so they, he's just screwed it's just a really bad place the only option left is to look elsewhere in Houston is well the biggest untapped market the, the biggest untapped market in North America right now so it'd be the obvious choice. But can people in H- will people in Houston support the league? Well, yes. We got a lot of former Arrows fans. That uh, Houston Arrows did pretty decently well. Even uh, again, it wasn't even National Hockey League. It was minor leagues, and it did pretty darn well. But they have other options in Houston. They got baseball, basketball, football, soccer. Well, so does uh, Dallas. Dallas has baseball. Well, baseball is in the Dallas area. The Texas Rangers is in that area. They have football, the Dallas Cowboys. They have soccer, the FC Dallas. They got uh, what? They got basketball, the Dallas Mavericks. They they got, and they still got a hockey team, and the hockey team still does well. Houston's a bigger city than Dallas. If Dallas can do. Houston's in Texas like Dallas. If Dallas can do it, Houston can do it. That's a terrible argument at this point. It's going to be a hard sell. There's already hockey fans in Houston who want a hockey team who's going to be willing to pay for it. We got people moving from other places to here that are hockey fans. And they would like a hockey team in Houston. Will it be hard? Might be a little difficult to convert them, but they'll definitely go to games to watch them. We got people like me who will already, who will go 
buy tickets straight for opening day. I, I, I swear, opening day is going to sell out for Houston hockey. Okay? There, there's, will, will it be successful? In, yes, yes, yes. It, it's successful in Dallas. It's going to be successful in Houston. No question about it. And Dallas had to, uh, Dallas is a smaller, smaller city, has the same sports that Houston does, the same options that Houston does, and look how successful Dallas is right now. We got Houston, a bigger city, the biggest city in Texas, a city that doesn't like cheering for other cities. We like cheering for our own city's teams, our own teams. We want our own teams. That's how we are. And then we got surrounding the surrounding areas that would like to cheer for Houston teams. No question to ask. No question. If it's successful in Dallas, no question it'll be successful in Houston. That, that, it's, it's, will, will we be able, Yes, yes, you'll be able to sell tickets. If you can do it in Dallas, you can do it in Houston. But they have other teams. They have, Dallas has the same number of teams. Yeah, they're not the Dallas Rangers, but you know where they're located? The Texas Rangers? In that same area? That, that, that was, that's not a very good argument at all. And, you know, we got, so, Houston's uh, still growing. Houston's the biggest untapped market. We got multiple teams struggling, including Canadian teams that could possibly move here. And you know what? You want to know how determined Houston is? Like, Houston fans are at getting this team? There's, uh, in the NHL to Houston group that I'm in right now. Second time this brought up, and this one, for real, a crown funding, like, you remember the Green Bay Packers, they don't have an owner. The citizens of the city, the city people, citizens of the city, city people, whatever. People who live in Green Bay each own a part of the team. They fund the team. It's a crowd-funded thing. They're, again, working hard. Uh, this one, this time being started by Brett Stanker. Stanker. Brett Stanaker. Uh, they're they're looking at GoFundMe sites. They're growing. They're they're, they're going to start GoFundMe. They're going to start. Houston is going to come together. Okay, how determined does the city have to be to work to get a GoFundMe to crowdfund a team? Because they're sick and tired of waiting. Okay, this ain't this ain't no just off the whim. No, this these are people who really, really want a hockey here. And again, this is that's that's what we want. We want a hockey team and so we're gonna get a hockey team one way or another, whether an owner comes here and decides to make money off of it or we come together and crowdfund one. But your crowdfunding one is starting to go down. I'll give you updates on the crowdfunding, but yeah. Houston is determined to get a hockey team. No, no doubts, no questions. And the hockey team will be successful here. No doubts, no questions. The question is who's going to bring it to Houston? Will it have to come down to us crowdfunding a team? Or will one owner or some rich man finally get a brain in their head to bring a hockey team to Houston to the Toyota Center for Tillman? Will the NHL get a brain and go, wait a minute, Houston, that's a good idea. We'll find out.